1993, I was diagnosed with HIV. My doctor at the time said, you expected this, so why are you so shocked? With no aftercare, I roamed the streets lost and confused. In 2000, I contracted pneumonia. I was hospitalized for a week. HIG HIV drugs were still not recommended. After moving back to Victoria... This is the story Warren Bailey wants to share with you. After moving back to Victoria, my alcoholism skyrocketed. This brought on cryptococcal meningitis. My status changed to AIDS. Over the years, I worked on my drinking problem, sobering up in 2007. Today, I lead a sober, fulfilled life. I feel proud of who I am. My HIV viral load is undetectable, and I love the life I live. People look Stigma? at me and yes. they, I tell them I've been positive for 20 years, and they go, really? But you look so healthy. I'm like, well, this is, how, this is what it's about. HIV AIDS isn't the death sentence it used to be when it first became recognized over 30 years ago. After decades of research and education, today a person living with HIV can go on to live a healthy life like Bailey. But one thing still remains the same. Each of us has our own bit of stigma that we go through in every way, in different dealings. <laughs> stigma? Yes. Mainly when it comes to dating. I'm finding it very hard to make make the effort. When someone rejects me for HIV status, I go back to that place of disgust and self-hatred. Only today I am able to not live there now. Live there. I know I, know I am just like I mean, there's, anyone else. There's a lot of our More population so that's where, diversified right. since, uh, since the 80s, but th the stigma remains. Uh, people are still thinking that it's, it's not something that we need to be concerned about. But if you talk to our membership, you'll find out very soon that uh, it's very much still a, a, con a, grow a concern and, and affects their daily life. 64-year-old Claude Gamesh has been living with HIV for 30 years. I was tested in 1985. I was uh, nursing at St. Paul's Hospital in Vancouver, psychiatric nurse, and I was also singing with the Vancouver Men's Chorus. There was 70 of us strong, 70 gay men, and uh, that's when the virus really started to show itself in, in our membership there. He says most of the gay men would get tested because the gay community was on the front lines of the pandemic, meaning they were at high risk. It was a death sentence in those days. The hysteria was prevalent all over. Uh, the hysteria, the homophobia, the, uh, the name of AIDS uh, terrified not only the gay community but the community at large. The AIDS quilt has... Uh, was started in 1987 by the Names Project in the United States. In the, for the Canadian AIDS Memorial Quilt, there's 600 panels. So to celebrate World AIDS Day and remember the loved ones who've passed on, the community wants to share their stories to help us better understand exactly what they went through and are going through. It's an opportunity for us to talk about our journey with this. You know, we don't hear it enough. We uh, we bring this to people's attention because it's still affecting people in Canada. There's still uh, over 7,000 people, Canadians, affected with HIV AIDS today. Big opportunity for us to share our stories and our strength and our hope about uh, where we've been and uh, what we're doing now. The event is called We Are Here. Individuals will share their experiences through stories, music and more. It happens December 2nd at 6.30 p.m. at the Belfry Theatre and is free for the public. For more information, contact AIDS Vancouver Island. In Victoria, I'm Shita Singh.